Hi everyone, it's Ben Holder with Five Minute Fiddle once again. <laughs> So as you may have already guessed, today I'm looking at the way I play Donna Lee. Now Donna Lee is a Charlie Parker song and it's kind of notoriously tricky to get your fingers around and that kind of thing. So I'm going to look at how I approach the song. Considering it's a song written for saxophone, it's a good one to get your fingers around and, and once you've got it, it's, it's almost like a great exercise as well. I like to play it fast, so because of that, I've had to find the right fingerings that allows you to kind of jump around easier. So I'm going to play it in little portions and I'm going to look at each phrase and point out maybe things that I think are quite important. For this particular video, I'm assuming you already play Donnelly or know Donnelly because I'm not going to go for every note, I'm just going to go through little um, things I find quite important in it. So the bet I always found quite tricky is this. So that, where the, with the fourth finger, I've mentioned before about the fourth finger and how important it is, and it's that repetition of using the fourth finger in this bit that I always found quite tricky. So I guess it's worth practicing that little bit over and over. Maybe going back and forth like that. And then hopefully the little finger gets strengthened and gets used to that kind of re repetitive little passage. So looking at that little portion, there's a few little tricky bits and a few bits I think are worth really nailing down. The, the little slidey run, it's really, really a good idea, I think, to get that nice and clear. It's just a little chromatic run, really, but getting that. And then you're straight onto that fourth finger. And that's almost like a finger twist of that little bit. So it's worth going over it slower. And also another little thing I find quite useful in it, it's tricky in itself, but you've got the second finger on the F ready to play. So it's there already. Get the second finger ready. And then it's ready to play there, it's just there ready. So preparing that second finger in that little portion, I think is uh, quite useful actually. So we're into the second half of the melody. And again, it starts similar to the, to the very beginning. So then you've got this tricky little bit where it changes. To be honest with you, out of all of the notes, the B flat here, there, I find is one of the hardest notes to, to get a clarity out of. But going at it slower, it's, it is easier and you do get that clarity because then you can jump straight up to the third position to hit that A flat. Keeping in third position for the last couple of notes in that phrase. So ending the penultimate phrase, you're on the third position on the, on the G, and then you're straight back to first position on the A string. And that little bit is crossing over from the, 
from the E string back to the A string to hit both the E and the E flat. Now that B, or C flat as it is, I get with the first finger because I've gone from the fourth finger on the G string, which is the F, and then I go to the C flat. So once you've hit that C flat with the first finger, then you've got a nice open D, which helps get ready for the F. I always think that the Bowens and the speed and that kind of thing is, is up to you. That was just how I play it. It's the fingerings I use to try and get as much clarity as possible. Like I say, in some circumstances, on some notes, it's not easy. But it's definitely worth practicing. It's a great exercise and it's a great tune to play at gigs as well. Soloing over A flat isn't easy, so it's worth practicing the A flat. There's a lot to look at. There's loads to look at in this song with all the different tricky bits. But hopefully a few of the fingerings, a few of the hints there will help out a little bit. More five minute fiddle coming soon and um, we'll see you then. Nice one.